Hey guys, Kyle Wagner. I'm uh, 37 years old and this is my submission tape for The Bachelorette. Um, right off the bat you're gonna say, wow that guy has one great eyebrow and one really weird eyebrow and that is a byproduct of the coronavirus and not being able to go and get them done professionally and I just shaved off half my eyebrow so what better time to submit a video for, uh, for consideration. Well, off the bat, I'll let you know that I live in Norwalk, Connecticut. Um, if I didn't say so, I'm 37, but you obviously never know because uh, I'm in such great shape. This is my roommate's uh, co-worker, Tanner, at the moment, I'm sulking because he can't go on a WALK again. But uh, yeah, this is my house. Uh, live here alone at the moment. My brother is uh, quarantining here. Um, I wouldn't allow him to film this because I would be mortified and I don't need him bringing that up, but uh, you know. Every family vacation from here on out. A little bit about me, so I was born in uh, Kaniwai, uh, Hawaii, which is uh, just near Pearl Harbor. My parents are both Marines, uh, bounced around quite a bit. Uh, they got divorced when I was very young, but uh, great stepdad. I've got uh, a brother, as you know. I've got uh, three other siblings, one twin brother and sister. Uh, they're about my brother Nick's age, and then one that's 22 years old. So. For the first 13 years of my life, I was completely alone, and now I have a, a pretty nice uh, sized family. So I'm huge into sports, uh, playing, watching, um, do what I can these days. Obviously can't get out of the house much, but I picked up a hobby, fortunately, good timing. Uh, I just started drawing about six months ago. Hopefully you can see some of this, but uh, I won't bore you with the whole thing here. But Anyway, one of those things I found uh, actually had a passion and, you know, fortunately a bit of a talent for it too. So it's nice and in the uh, realm of dating, it kind of adds a, another layer so I don't just seem like some meathead idiot. But uh, anyway, you know, drawings, drawings. Give you a bit more tour of the house. It is uh, quite a lot of house for a single guy. And working from home, uh, living alone in a relatively new state doesn't afford me the, the greatest of uh, opportunities to meet and date. But, uh, oh, here's another roommate. She is less friendly. Pretty much the only person in the world that can pet her. And even I have about a 30-second limitation. And she starts biting me. So what brings me here to... Uh, this submission, uh, you know, honestly, I was with somebody for about 11 years, and um, well, I guess about two years ago, we kind of started hitting a rocky patch. We moved to a new place. You know, we both have good jobs. Um, I myself am a uh, salesperson. I work in IT, managed service technology. Um, work for Honeywell, so it's a big company. I do well financially. Um, she got a new job. We made some new friends. Priorities somewhat shifted, and. Whereas I was looking to, you know, settle down a bit more, not feel the, the need and compulsion to go out just for argument's sake every weekend. Um, that was more or less kind of where her direction was. Went to therapy for a year. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about myself and where my failings were as, as a husband and a partner and a friend. And um, I think I've made a lot of strides and have continued to do so and even go to that same therapist, uh, you know, myself now just to talk right and I think it's helped me quite a bit grow uh, as a human being and, and ultimately I think it it pointed out that perhaps you know while we still do love each other we're just no longer in love with each other and uh, we separated uh, she has an apartment not too far by and and we we are uh, you know good friends and remain in contact and you know we attempted to reconcile even from afar but at some point you just got to know when to throw your hands up in the air and start living life and uh, you know for me that was getting back out there and dating it's it's been 11 years um, since I really went on dates and then uh, uh, almost exactly the time that I got on the dating apps and uh, attempted to start meeting people then uh, you know the world was put into lockdown so uh, it hasn't really done a whole lot for my dating life um, and I'm not a huge fan of dating apps as it is when I was dating, it was, you know, meet a girl at a bar, say hello, ask a friend, that kind of thing. Uh, this swipe right, left thing and checking your phone constantly is really not something that I'm, I'm super interested in doing. But, uh, you know, while I have literally never considered being on TV, reality or otherwise uh, in my life, uh, it seemed just interesting enough to me. And, and frankly, you, you're getting exposure to people that you never would. You're put in a situation where... Uh, you know, you're both interested in the same thing and I think that should really speed things up. So, you know, where 
Uh, I have been somewhat judgmental in the past of some of these dating shows and, and whether or not the, you know, the, the feelings and sentiment was valid, I, I, I want to believe, right? So I am a big lover of love and I, I, I truly believe that there, there is a match and a person for everyone out there and you know, that's all I'm, I'm looking for. On day one of therapy, they asked us what we were looking to accomplish and I simply said I'm looking for a teammate. At the end of the day, I want it to be me and my significant other against the world, right? So Bonnie and Clyde, but without the violence and murder and death. Um, but uh, other than that, yeah, really, really just looking for someone I can watch TV with. I love cooking. Um, I'm actually pretty damn good cook. Um, and you know, just take care of them. I'm a, I'm a person who likes to take care of others and, and I just want someone to, to want to take care of me as well. And it's nice going to bed at the end of the, at the end of the day and, and knowing that there's a person out there that loves and values you more than literally anything else in the world. And that's kind of all I'm looking for. So this video is terrible. I'm aware of that. I have a half an eyebrow also aware that that is uh, not normal but it it does grow very fast so by the time you've probably even seen this uh, my guess is it's already grown back so don't worry about that and uh i know i'm old but you know i don't look old and some of those younger guys they have terrible jobs i think i saw one that said former child uh, you know i don't know if that's a qualification but uh, i was also a child at some point so um at the end of the day i think i would make a, a good candidate and um certainly going to be a whole lot more presentable when I can go get a haircut and have someone else, you know, manage the hair on my face. So, all right, guys, thank you.